guys, welcome back to another video, Conflict of Nations, World War III. So yeah, guys, we started a new game. Um, it's actually already day two, but we haven't done anything. We built army bases, and we're, like, almost done with our arms industries. We're trying it. We um, researched infantry and recon um, vehicles. So we're tra training recon vehicles in three cities, and then two... I meant three of them, and it's going to be, actually, no, let's do recon in here, it's fine, whatever, um, so actually, it's four recons and two infantries, so, yeah, uh, we're actually, you know, how, you see how Syria's in our, um, coalition, we're going to be kicking him, you see how Romania is in our coalition. We're going to be kicking him. And instead, we're going to be accepting Kazakhstan and Pakistan in our coalition. And um, we've decided Greece and I will, I guess, help each other soon to take out Romania. And then I can take Syria alone. I'm moving my troops to a city. So as soon as he gets kicked, boom. I just attack his cities. I take them all. It looks like they're undefended. Um... They're not really defended that well. And then we can use our big stacks that we're training, that we're putting right here to zoom into the other cities that have troops, which I think he'll probably move some of these to, like, attack here. So, yeah. Um, He's already fighting three countries, and we're about to make it four, and that'll put his morale down. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Romania actually has 22 wins. The only reason I'm kicking him for a guy who doesn't have any wins is because they are actually my friends. So, yeah. We're going to be putting them in, and this is going to be probably a long series. So, yeah. Uh, we've basically done all the beginning things. My bad, I didn't start it at the beginning. But we will on next episode. So, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, I am kicking Romania, and I am kicking Syria. And these two have applied, Pakistan and Kazakhstan. Pakistan, I think, actually has, a, uh, like, wins. Yeah, three wins. And then he, I don't think he has any. He's kind of new. Oh, never mind. Um, It's pretty good. Two wins, 56 isn't the best, but he's good, you know? He only played 56. Everyone should be active in this coalition. You're not active, you get pushed out of the coalition, and you get kicked, you get conquered. The reason I'm attacking them as soon as I kick them is because of the fact that, like, they're probably going to want revenge for attacking them. They're going to be pissed that I attacked them, you know? So might as well just conquer them. So Greece is going to build up an army. I will build up a stronger army than what I have. So basically when my recons and my infantries are done, I'll probably have taken Syria and I'll probably move into Romania. So yeah. That will be perfect. And we're going to leave the I I like to leave the um the stack Always your, your capital stack. I don't know if everyone does this or they take it out, but you should, in my opinion, you should always keep this stack here. Because, um, like, let's just say, look, you have, um, you just someone attacks you. They can take all of this land, including your capital, and you're done. When someone someone can come in here with one troop, take all your stuff, boom, they don't lose anything. Like. So, yeah, we got to have s at least some troops to defend the capital. And I, I'm, right now, I, since I'm attacking somewhere really close, I'm not keeping troops at, like, a city banked up near the capital, too, to defend the cities and take them back if someone attacks. But since we're super close, and it'll be super easy to take these guys out... We can literally just attack them with all our force. See, they're, they're like right here. I can move like a few troops back and defend our cities. 
So, yeah, that's why I'm not doing that. Don't ever. And one more reason is don't. First of all, don't ever leave one of your sides unprotected. Because that guy could attack you. So, yeah, as you can see, these guys have my back. So let me see what will mean. Yeah. I don't want to like. Uh, I said they're glitched because like, oh, I feel so mean to do this. So yeah, but we're still gonna do it. All right, guys, that's it for the first episode of Conflict of Nations, World War Three. So yeah, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.